Welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie, and today we are back out in the RV. Uh, we'll probably be doing a lot of videos in the RV in the next few months. Um, for one, it's just what all my stuff is. We just plan on traveling and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, that's all beside the point here. Uh, today we are going to do a review on the Durant. Durant. Uh, watercolor ink, ink tents, um, 12 pan set, and um, as you can tell, they have been used, um, they are well loved, um, I, I've used them more than once, and um, I knew they was filthy, but I didn't realize they were that filthy, okay need to clean it don't I anyways they have some pretty colors now I don't care for the green that much um, but rest of them I like pretty well we're going to um, do a sunflower and this is I'm going to do two videos in one today uh, because I didn't get to post Monday's watercolor tour deal because my brother came in Sunday and I just kind of got sidetracked and forgot all about videos. So, we are going to do a sunflower in watercolor in the intense. And first of all, I am going to wet my, um, the middle of my flower here. And, uh, just kind of like so. And y'all, we live in the country, so if y'all hear vehicles, and I'm sure y'all can in the background, because I can. I'm sorry. And now I am going in with the natural brown. And I'm just going in, just kind of like staining my paper. And I'm not doing nothing, you know, too fancy. Just kind of like so. Now I may have to have some more light here. This light is... Probably perfect for y'all, but horrible for my eyeballs. And I am using these the uh, travel brushes of mine, like that. Um, I will have a list of them in the description below, and the paint set also on Amazon. I am using just the uh, mixed media paper for this, so I mean you can use whatever you have. Um, this seems to work for me pretty good with about whatever I decide to use. Um, it is the Master Touch, but I think they have redundant of paper. So they, the new stuff may not be as good as the, uh, this is some of the older stuff. So just be aware. Buy or be aware. I mean, again, it may be better. I don't know. Because I just don't know. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going in with the same yellow. And as you can tell, I've used it pretty good. And I'm just going in to do my panels. Mm -hmm. 
How's everybody's weather? We all that. Here in Arkansas, it's it was nice today. I mean, I was running around in surprise and short sleeves. Now I'm freezing. <sighs> We're just going in and painting the panels of the sunflower, and that's what we're doing today. If your brush starts getting dry, just add more water and some more paint to it. That's all you need to do with watercolors. And I'm trying to keep my head out of the shot. If I get my head in the shot, I'm sorry, but I'm trying not to. Um. As far as these paints goes, I can't really tell any difference than anything else I use, except I think it's a little bit harder to lift at times, and uh, I mean that's my opinion. Are they permanent? I really don't know, know if they are or not, because I think you can... I've never really tried to uh, not, not lift them after they dry. I just add more color to it. So, um, you'll have to ask somebody else because I don't know. Somebody is revving up the engine. I think they know when I get out here to videotape. Usually I say it's my husband, but I know it, he's not out to that, so. It is later than I normally videotape, so. I'm just trying to get stuff. This is going to be a busy week. I got to go Conway Wednesday with my daughter. Today I went to a deal at the library, at our local library that I like to go to. And uh, then I came home and went to sleep. I know. I shouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> I know I'm a bad. I like my naps. Most days. <laughs> if you don't know me at all, I love my naps. And I love to sleep. And I love to sleep in. But my husband has a tendency to wake me up before I get ready to get up.
I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to work on this one panel here. And I am going to go in with this mango. Give it a little bit of depth. And I'm going to wipe it off on my sponge that's in the deal. Did you see the difference? Maybe not. Maybe not on camera, but I can. And why? Then I'm just going to go back and put some yellow in. Change. Let's get a paper towel. Y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm not saying this is how you do watercolor. I ain't, I ain't cl claiming I'm a teacher. I just like sharing what I'm doing. And how I'm doing stuff. So, I mean, if, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't mean leave me a read comment. Hey, there you do it. Well, it's how I'm doing it. And if I get the results I want, that's all that matters. I have, I've took art lessons in the past. When I was in high school, I took art lessons. But as far as once... What I, I know, I have pretty well taught myself, or well, I've watched videos of people painting, so I'm not no artist, I don't claim to be, I just do it for fun, and I just take y'all along on the journey with me. Um, a lot of times I do stuff first time on camera because that's just who I am. Well, see the. The mango it's just enough highlights to make it look rare. And that's what you want. You don't want it to look flat, but you don't want it to just like so. I think I just lost the camera. And then I'm just going to get more water. Go in and spread this out. But you don't need a whole... I mean, I have figured out if you have too many corners on your palette... It don't help. Um, the less, the better, I think, when it comes to watercolor or acrylics. Now, there's some, th some colors I just don't even try to mix. If I'm mixing purple in acrylics, there's no way. Now, I like to mix the purple in my um, watercolor. And, uh, so, you know, you just, you learn the colors you can mix good and ones you can't. And everybody mixes different than the other person. And I, you know, I know that. Uh, and that's why I say, Everybody has their own techniques. Uh, everybody has their own way of painting. I mean, everybody has their own way of sewing. I mean, if you sew, you have your own way of doing it. 
you have your own way of doing dishes. Even washing clothes. I mean, let's get techno here. I mean, my husband does not agree on how we wash clothes. <laughs> That's why he does it. I was washing jeans today. And I had it done, and he went behind me and re turned turn it back on, and I'm thinking, Okay, I did not want it done twice, but okay, whatever, do. Okay, I just added some more uh, sun yellow in that. I want to call it sun, sunshine yellow. And then I'm just going to take a clean brush and kind of just blend that into the orange. But you see me wiping my brush off so much. And then I'm just getting more water. Getting more sunshine. Some more sunny. And this is like lemon yellow. If you don't have this palette and you paint along. And do not think you have to buy every paint set I've got. Trust me. Most of them's all about all those are all about the same. It's just I just think I have to have all of them. And in true reality, you don't. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in and do these uh, last few. I have it painted over like this one here. Oh, that truck is driving me nuts, guys. Like I said, I think the neighborhood knows when I decide to do something. Usually it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. I said normally. <laughs> Not that. Okay. Now these white spots these three four little white spots I am going in with the bright blue and I mean it is a bright blue see and I am just going in and it's gonna be green for a little bit so it kind of dries and then I'll go back over it I am using a number eight round if y'all want to know. And I do love these brushes, by the way, if y'all must know. And I am not even going to try to say the name of them because I have no clue. But they will be in the description down below. Okay, now in this, I am going in with a little bit of a poppy red. And just kind of, I'm just kind of wanting a highlight.
Really, people? Do I not know this in the house? <laughs> what does that do out here in the RV? shows my pencil lines but they don't bother me so bad it used to I used to think oh lord but this is in my sketchbook I mean that's why I use I mean it's practice it's fun it's I'm not I don't sell my work um if I did yeah I would not even dream of it But that kind of gave it a two, three layer dimension. And that's all we're going to do with this, guys. Um, we're going to take the tape off. And I'm going to draw the tape or the paper. And we have the cute little white edge and like I said I've turned the paper and I don't think I've got a black kit out here. I do but I don't know what's that so I'm just going to use this blue one enjoyed this tutorial and this review uh, like I said I do like the Durant uh, watercolors um, do I use them all the time no I don't use anything all the time because I've just got so much of it nowadays uh, but I do like them do I think it's worth the money yes if you don't have watercolors now if you've got the Winston Newton or the cook uh, Koi. These. No. Or any other set. No. So, I hope y'all have a blessed day. We'll catch y'all later. And we'll see you. Bye.